Welcome back for sports. Northwestern State returning to Turpin Stadium today for their first day of spring camp. The Demons may only be coming off a 4-7 and seven record a year ago, but was in contention for a Southland title all the way into the final week of the season. And to get back to that success, it'll start with figuring out who they have at the quarterback position. Elijah Nixon has more. You smell that? Football's back, and the NSU Demons are looking to build off of last year's success. Now, they had a chance to win a conference championship twice last year, but they fell short. Now, they have some key pieces coming back, and the goal is the same. But there's one guy that's missing, Zach Clements. He decided to transfer to go to Southeastern, and now they leave the Demons looking for a brand-new quarterback for the 2023 season. Springtime is when you get a good feel for your football team, especially under center which is one of the most important positions in the sport. Zach Clemens was a guy we thought would come back after having one of his best seasons, throwing for over 2,400 yards and tossing 19 touchdown passes. He also finished second team all-conference, so it's safe to say the job would have been his if he returned. But now, it's like starting all over with four guys competing for the job. Tyler Vanderwall, JT Fayard, Chance Newman, Kareem Cotton, and B.J. Higgins. Coach Laird said the competition will be fun to watch, and he is looking for the guy that has a simple QB mechanics down pat. I think the thing that we want to see is who can protect the ball, um, you know, make the right reads, deliver the ball where it's supposed to go, and be able to lead the offense. You know, will we have the answer after 15 practices? We don't know. You know, it may go into the summer, may go into the fall, but it'll be, uh, it'll be a good competition battle and at that position and along with other positions. Tight end Trayvon Jones, who did pretty much everything for the Demons last year, finished all-conference for his team. He said that he doesn't have a favorite, but all four of those guys are capable of winning the job. I've been working with them since January, so I knew I know what they could do. So it, right now it's just competition. Whoever gonna beat out the spot, I like all of them right now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody could facilitate. They knowing the plays, they getting the playbook down correctly. So right now we we clicking, we clicking. I like all of them. Now what Coach Laird and Trayvon Jones have alluded to was that this is only day one of them for their practice. Now they'll have 14 more of these practices and a fall camp to find out who will be under center for the Demons come the first game of the season. Reported in Natchitoches, I'm Elijah Nixon with News Channel 5, your local station. And speaking of that schedule, this is how the first eight games of the Demons' 2023 season will shape out. NSU will open up with two in-state opponents at UL Lafayette and Louisiana Tech. Then it's the battle for Chief Caddo. Northwestern State and Stephen F. Austin will meet for who wants that seven and a half foot trophy. Northwestern State looking for their first win in non-conference play since 2018.